If you're tuning in right now, you happen to be watching the world's truest source for hip-hop news, black culture, sports, and of course the best reaction videos on the net. I'm talking about Kofi's Universe. If you haven't already subscribed, it's your chance to hit that button now before I hit this blunt. Bada. YouTube salute. Earlier this month, Uncle Murda unleashed his annual wrap up. Three parts of it. So if you check it out on YouTube or any um, digital streaming platform, he has three parts. So taking shots at several of his peers, um, he threw shade at Diddy, Gunna, Blueface, Will Smith, and many more. And he also dissed Troy Ave, accusing the rapper of snitching on tax song amid their legal battle. So let's get into it. If you're new to my channel, thumbs up the video. Hit that sub button, click that bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. So Troy Ave really went to court and got on the stand. He rhymes. Ninja snitched on Taxon because he bodied his man. He jokingly responded to an accusation on IG, wondering, damn, do I got to wrap this ninja up? According to DJ Seth, however, he didn't stop there. He revealed later that Troy Ave recorded an entire response track to Uncle Murder, but ultimately decided not to release it out of love and respect. It seems as though he was taking notes from one of the biggest names in hip-hop, as well as Jay-Z. So, during a recent interview um, on a Facto show, Troy Ave explained how Hove recorded a response to Kendrick Lamar's Control that track came out in 2013. If y'all remember, dope ass track. Um, that track featured Big Sean and um, what's his name? J Electronica. It's really Big Sean track. So Kendrick and J Electronica was featured on that track, but decided not to release it. Now here's another thing, a little fact that everybody might not know. This is a fact though. He began. Jay Z went in there. With Young Guru, and he recorded a response. But guess what Jay-Z did? He never released it. He don't have to. Sometimes they just say, what will Hove do? WWHD. <laughs> My reply, everybody went crazy over. He continued, everybody else said slick lines, fabulous, Joel Ortiz, and these rapping ass ninjas. But my two bars went crazy. Snoop Dogg is reposting this S. Every day they asking Kendrick in interviews about what would you think about Troy Ave not? What would you think about the other ninjas? I'm independent. Little old me because I hit harder. My shit different. What do you think of Troy Ave claiming that Jay-Z recorded a response to Kendrick Lamar's control? All right, so let me go in. Do I think Jay-Z recorded a response? Yeah, I believe that. I believe Jay-Z has something to do with that as far as recording a response because at the end of the day, I think everybody, sometimes you have to fall back and not release certain information. Um, I'm not going to say certain information. Release information like that as far as that track. Um, Karis one he said this long time ago. You can find this on YouTube. Remember when Smack DVDs used to come out? Okay, Karis once said every year he he writes um, ten diss songs for the ten top rappers in the game, just in case that they call his name, he gonna release that. He gonna release it and be ready for them. So I wouldn't be surprised if Jay Z did, you know, say something. But he probably felt like you know what, he didn't take no shots at me. I'm going to let them young dudes handle that. And that was, what, 10, excuse me, 11 years ago. So he probably felt like, I'm going to let them handle that. You know, he didn't take a shot at the um, the G.O.D., you know, as far as Hove, as far as the big homie in the industry. But I know Kendrick respects Jay-Z. Jay-Z respects Kendrick. But Kendrick, like I said, he was taking shots at Pusha T, Meek Mill, Joel Ortiz, um, who else, Troy Ave. You know, the the, the, the up-and-coming people, Joey Badass, you know, those people that was coming up at that time with him. So, Jay-Z, did he do the right thing by not releasing the track? 50-50, um, I'll flip a coin because 
Is there a reason why he should release it? What's that going to cause? Controversy? As far as like now, people want to hear what Kendrick going to say? I mean, there's nothing that Jay-Z can say that was going to end Kendrick's um, career. You know, because Jay-Z has been in battles. He's been in battles with what? Prodigy and Mob Deep. He's been in battles with um, taking little shots at camera. He's been in battle with Nas. We all know about that. Um, that few. Who else he's been in battle with? He's been in battle with, um, you know, other people. He, you know, I mean, nothing probably major, major. But he said his little piece, you know, here and there. But I think that if Jay-Z would have released that, you know, you would have had a lot of biased people from the East Coast been very happy. Like, yeah, Jay-Z. Get at Kendrick. Get at Kendrick. I'm not saying that people wouldn't be happy. I'm just saying people would have been like, yeah, we want somebody to step up. Because there were other rappers stepping up when Kendrick said his part, but it wasn't hitting home how Kendrick hit. So if Jay-Z would have said something, I think people would have jumped on Jay-Z, even if it would have been dope or not, and been like, yeah, ride that, ride that. So they would have wanted Kendrick to, re to re uh, respond Jay-Z's response, like, okay, what you gonna do now? Are you gonna, you know, go for the juggler, or are you gonna fight back? I mean, it would've been lyrical sparring. I don't think they would've been taking shots at each other on the level of, I'm gonna put hands on you, and when I see you in the streets, we're gonna knock each other out, or no. Nah. I think it would've been just more like, you know, keep it on wax. Keep it in the studio. And that, that would've been nice to see that, because Jay-Z do be spinning some shit. I will say that. You know, he will say some real good stuff that it makes you be like, damn, he he, he got it. And I know kids are going to spit something. Kids are going to come with that unorthodox lyrical flow. And it, it, it would have been a um, a good show. That would have been a Gemini versus the Sagittarius. Post your comments below. Hoax smash. Black Panther, the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the bell icon to be notified when I upload new content and go live. If you want to support and donate to the channel. I have Patreon, patreon.com slash Kofi Universe. Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Stream Apps, everything's in the description. Until next time, salute.